what is the significance of local table in snowflake and why snowflake support it in first place when do you think that your data project needs a local table and does it cost more than the standard table or less does it support time travel or data protection attributes and what are the features or limitation of a local table over standard tables the local table has only one purpose and one significance and that's what we are going to learn in this quick short practical video we already have covered standard slash permanent table and global table in our previous chapters and we will straight go to local table concept and understand why it exists and what helps does it bring to data engineers welcome back to my channel data engineering simplified everything covered in this video can be tried out with snowflake's free trial edition it grants all full privileges and enables all the features if you have any technical questions need architectural advice or want guidance on starting or migrating snowflake project don't hesitate to reach out to me on my instagram account you can also join my exclusive facebook channel by scanning the qr code to request access before we start let's quickly understand how local table concept is implemented in popular databases like oracle mysql and sql server local tables in oracle are typically used within the scope of a pl sql program or a specific database session they are temporary table that exist only for the duration of that session or a program and are automatically dropped when the session ends mysql does not have an inbuilt concept of local tables and sql server supports local table and it can be created using a prefix character hash we won't dive deep into the technical details and how the syntax looks like but when migrating your data workload from such legacy databases to snowflake there may be a need to migrate your sql script that has local table keyword it would be good if snowflake also support for local table or local keyword and that's what we will see next now i am in my snow site web ui and let me quickly change my context so this is my database this is my schema and this is my warehouse let's check whether i have any table exist inside this public schema or not i do not have any table i am going to create a table called emp_01 which is a permanent table because i have not used any other classifier and let me create this table my table created successfully let's run show command now if i run get ddl command let's see how the ddl script looks like it looks exactly the way i have created the table now let's try to use the keyword called local and see if i can create a local table or not so i added a classifier called local before the table keyword and let's run this ddl statement it ended with syntax error saying unexpected table line number 24 which is this okay so you cannot use the local classifier all alone it has to be used with a temporary table because in snowflake local tables are nothing but a temporary table and it is an alias for your temp table so if i specify word tmp or temporary it will allow me to create a local table which is nothing but a temporary table so my table got created successfully now let's run the show command the two tables got listed if you look into the kind column the first table employee 1 is permanent table or a standard table and the second table where we have used a local followed by temporary keyword is classified as a temporary table all other parameter looks good the retention time for temporary table is also 1 and the rest of the information looks almost same now let me run select get ddl statement and see whether local classifier keyword comes or not if you look into the ddl which is generated by snowflake 
I do not have any local keyword. It is directly classified as a temporary table. Now let me insert one record into employee two table to check whether it supports time travel or not. Though we have seen the retention value equals to one. So let's try that. So one record got inserted. Let's run the select statement. I can see the value David appears. Now if I drop this table, so my table dropped successfully. And if I try to run the select statement, it says table doesn't exist or not authorized. So we know we dropped the table. That's why it says it doesn't exist. Now, if I run the undrop table, even though it is a local slash temporary table, it should be undropped because it has a retention period of one day. So the table got undropped. And now if I run select star from the table, this is how the result looks like. Local table is nothing but an alias for a temporary table. Now let me run a command. So if I run a current session context function, it gives me this number which ends with 3190. What if I open a new worksheet within the same login? Will I be able to access employee 02 table? Before that, let me run this show command. So I can see my employee 1 and employee 2 tables and employee 2 is a temporary table. Let me open a new worksheet. I am just changing the context. So I got only one table. My second table is not listed, which is a temporary table. And let me run the current session statement. So here my session ending with 717, local table worksheet session ending with 3190. Since this is another session, my temporary table or a local slash temporary table is not available. What it means that if I go back to my, if I go back to my homepage and data tab under the public schema, my EMP underscore zero two table would not be listed because that is a global session and, and the table is created in my local session. So this is my demo database and this is my public schema. If I click on the tables, I have only one table employee 01. It does not list the employee 02 table. So the local table is still exist on my first session. But what if I drop the local table from this session and try to recover from the second session? Is it possible? Let's try that. So I am dropping my employee 02 table from my first worksheet. So it dropped successfully. If I run the show table from my first session, let's see what result does it bring. So I have only one table. Now moving to my second worksheet. And here if I run undrop, Undrop is not possible because this table is created in the first session and undrop is not possible from another session. So remember this behavior. So this is how the local slash temporary table or temporary slash local table works in Snowflake. So what we have understood that a local table is equal to temporary table and temporary table is equals to local table. So local classifier is a synonyms and abbreviation for a temporary table and is available in Snowflake to provide the compatibility with other databases to prevent error when migrating create table statement. Tables created with local keywords behave identical to the table created with a temporary keyword. So if you try to understand the key features and limitations we have with a local table, the local or a temporary table only exists within the session. Other session cannot access local tables. Max time travel or retention duration for local table is equals to one day. Failsafe feature is not applicable for local table. And for local tables, once session is closed, data is not recoverable. However, within the session, you can recover the data. The Snowflake tables hold many key insights. To become a Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse Pro, make sure to catch all the videos in this playlist. Thanks for tuning in to this quick tutorial. If you have found it valuable, hit the like button. By doing so, YouTube will serve up more Snowflake content from my channel to help you on your Snowflake learning journey.
happy learning and keep on growing